Welcome back. We are checking out our different foods to check for sugar levels. Uh, we put in some apple juice, you may remember a little earlier, and you will notice that the apple juice has turned a very dark orange, almost red color. We also threw in some raisins and water and Benedict solution. The solution has turned I would say a light orange, dark yellow color. Not as dark as the apple juice. We also threw in during the break some crackers and Benedict solution with water. You will notice that it has a greenish color on the top and an orangish color towards the bottom. Last thing we did is we threw in some water and Benedict solution to act as our control. Remember, our control group will show you what a negative test looks like. Here's our water and Benedict solution. You will notice that it is that light blue that we saw a little earlier. Remember, Benedict solution is the test for reducing sugars. Well, now that we're all done and we've looked at our different indicators, our different foods and things of that nature, if you're ready to collect your thoughts, make sure to write your observations on your data sheet. Uh, follow along as we do the lab together. Make sure to also fill in the table that you can find in your, in your lab manual. You will notice on the data sheet, you have the different indicators on the top you have your different carbohydrates and water on the, on the side. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fill in these boxes, indicate if it's a positive or a negative test by either placing a plus sign or a minus sign. Then what you're gonna do is just note the color just so that you have all your observations and you are ready to go. You're ready to do everything. Thanks for watching the Carbohydrate Lab. We'll check you out for the next lab.